Welcome back. Watching more Hunter x Hunter. Starting a new arc once again. Well, the journey to Jing we thought would be relatively simple, but no. He messed with the rules, changed the game. Now we're learning and experiencing from a protege. Kite has. Well, he's come into contact with Gone before, seen exactly who he is, what he's like, and. Can anticipate some issues cropping up. Maybe not what's being played with with the uh, chimera ants, but to see what kind of extinction level event that actually is might be fun. We've done normal training, battle training with Nen. Now we're gonna put it into action. You know, whenever you've got this uh, big bug crunching down on, uh, on on fish, it's just made me think. You know, once they actually regain a bit of uh, a bit of strength and actually get back into the world, what the hell are they going to be doing? If they are this danger that is kind of on the outskirts being uh, set up. Also, with the clown harlequin thing, so, oh, pick a number, round around the wheel goes, what does it land on? Ah, this time you got a gun. Whatever weapons are there that he can uh, morph into and use. And considering the birth of, uh, was it the Chimera King, was the Queen's plan and responsibility? Who or what is that going to be? What are they going to, what kind of terror are they going to unfold upon the world? Also, Gon's entire plan of just introducing Killua to his father, and that's the catalyst for why they aren't meeting at the minute. Biological surveying. Hmm. How many has he added to the scientific textbooks so far? Huh. That's pretty good, yeah. Wasn't it the... Um Use of fire that really kind of started our species off on the evolutionary fast track. Since we weren't spending the excess energy trying to process our, the meat and whatnot. At least that's what I think I read somewhere. There's something odd going on with these with these little critters. He's got a very clear home screen. I like it. So it's not just going to be those you as a little group. We're meeting a few others. They just happened to drop by. <laughs> okay. But 
I, uh, how many times has he dropped his surname as a, you know, his family name in a, in a conversation instead of just they may have heard that name as well. How many times have they dropped the family name other than just the normal introductions? <laughs> At their young age, they've overcome so much. His name is Dinner and he handles the food. Yeah. He was born for that role. How does Oh, hello there. How does uh how do they come up with the names for this? Does he just have a dartboard with a bunch of nouns and throw shit at it, see what sticks? You can see the the atmosphere suddenly got a lot more tenser. Yeah, a claw, and yet it's that size. There's still quite a lot of research that needs to be done. He's quite jovial, this this guy. <laughs> but you, that's how it usually goes. You start with some task, you go off doing something, gets drawn into something that's completely out of left field and leads on elsewhere. Quite efficient. Unable to pay them. Hmm. Who's the... Oh, some of the other friends I haven't quite uh, been introduced quite yet. Hmm. Yeah, so they've got these people who kind of discover shit, don't quite know its value or what it could mean to the world. But wasn't this the, the you know, the, uh, the queen had a lower section of his arm missing? If it experiences this kind of growth and deviation from the norm. What if they asked more than just for a little part of it? Hmm. And what are these... these are able to um, come up with? Oh yeah, if an itty bitty tiny one could get to him. Hmm. But I'm starting to have some bad feeling. 
we're being introduced to these characters with the fear of this chimera ant surge in the background. And the queen up there that is a... Quite dangerous. How many of this this group that aren't uh, exactly pro hunters and the like are going to be uh, still in the trade? Yeah, Gon does have a good way of bringing people together. <clears throat> Is the embodiment of what it means to be a hunter. At least by the definition set out by a Jin. No, little bat. Well, hopefully nothing kind of stumbles its way and it has to stay in that cave for quite a long time. I just had a thought, along with changing environment and random mutation, could there be someone's Nen that actually affects other beings, like out of the six fields of Nen and whatnot? Could it force alteration? Is a Vago Genesis. Huh. I can't say I've seen this in living creatures. <laughs> it can combine them. So, so far we've got fish ants. We've we've got a collection, you know, a breeding ground already. And considering you've now set in, into motion the phagogenesis, being able to eat, impart, and birth new... new offspring and new creatures I can now see where the opening was going we're going to be meeting up a bunch of a fun new uh, enemies to battle and what would happen if human gets added into the mix Considering, yeah, the size. Ah, oh, I, I see we've found the uh, the initial sacrifices. Bad snake. Okay, the grass wobbling was <laughs> kind of fun. I think it should have stayed as um, you know, out of the focal point. And then he beat it with a stick. But 
but they are kind of out in the uh, wilderness so coming up against creatures and snakes and whatnot isn't exactly would be anything new to them but <laughs> I know I was a bit flippant with the sacrifice line earlier, but the more they are laying it on here. And yeah. Having... Having to, uh... Make him say that line. So what we got? We got uh, batfish, crab ants. So go out and fetch. The interesting thing here is that. Um, With these creatures going out, collecting stuff, and coming back. Hang on, are those pods other insects that are just. Huh. With those things going out, capturing stuff, coming back, any tracker or not will be able to find the. the nest there. I guess that's not illegal in this part of the world. <laughs> Such idyllic uh, family life. To be fair, they did catch a lot. <laughs> That's no snake. You might need something a bit bigger than a stick for that one. Oh, you got the distortion in the music there for a second. Maybe if you start backing away slowly, at least. Yeah, not quite as effective this time. Yeah. Got a taste for it as well. That's good. I wonder if we're going to start getting a huge surge in missing people. Well, follow the... Follow the line of the beach, what's around this area. Also, I would like to know why, what the Queen encountered to get into that, that damaged state in the first place. I mean, it's not good to just disregard the potential danger, but yet the chances are... If it washed up on the beach, it could be elsewhere. Oh yes, uh, our own little bloodhound that is 
gone and his nose. It's, it's not kind to stare. I might water down the trail slightly. Oh no, if Gordon couldn't find anything. Direction is reversed. <laughs> well, the leg itself didn't seem too decomposed or the like, so it shouldn't be too far away. You can set up at least a perimeter of likely places. Stick to the main paths that are travelled. <laughs> Definitely find something there. <laughs> you know what? A lot of time I'd be like, no, continue the adventures, stay in this area, find new stuff. But for them, yeah, okay, leave. Considering we kind of know what's out there and we've been given a taste of it. And how much of the uh, Kidua's words there have uh, have been burrowing into his mind? <sighs> okay, bird-human combination. And because they were the firstborn, you are now squad lead. How lucky. <laughs> I think if you ever wanted to really uh, dig in deep and hit the point home that this... This is a, a threat that you should be worried about. Yeah, have them immediately just raise a few children straight away. And then after that we get into this uh, 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 as the ending. And I do love the stories, well, that it's told of Gon and his friend just on their journey. And it's really quite simple. Find the dad, tell him about what he's been up to, tell him about his friend. But... With that being so kind of open-ended, the ability to swap in these stories and what they come across, and yes, they're going to come into contact with some well, really quite fucked up shit. Since the world of Hunter Hunter, there isn't exactly a, a safe route anywhere, it seems. With people with then abilities that can topple entire cities, and the creatures and Animals around aren't it much better. But no, oh boy. <laughs> well, when we first got the, 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 the those kids on their little excursion, I was like, oh, what are we starting off with some sort of Dragon Quest introduction? Nice, uh, calming countryside. Backstory, some kids getting into a spot of bother. Oh, they've been eaten. I guess this isn't the happy-go-lucky story tale kind of 
I guess this isn't the kind of happy go lucky lucky fairy tale story kind of thing. I mean, in Hunter x Hunter, when they say something is dangerous or they're setting up a potential threat on the horizon, it means it. Don't take anything lightly. Otherwise, you'll end up in a insect's gullet. Do insects have gullets? Well, this queen. Anatomy is kind of bipedal. But like I said during the actual episode, getting introduced to these extra characters, you know, the protege of Kite and the, the, the kind of students working with him. Hopefully they don't just, you know, they're not just this conglomerate that we, yeah, that's the group of uh, biologists and whatnot. Hopefully they each kind of stand out and do their own thing and don't become bug feed. And, you know, I'm never going to get away from Hunter Hunter can simultaneously be this kind of happy-go-lucky, nothing really goes wrong, it's a friend's journey through the world kind of story, and then utter just depravity and children dying. And yet it never seems, like, too dark. It's, um... Somehow it escapes the holy fuck kind of uh, visage, and it's more just like, yeah, uh, this is this world. Maybe because it's always set up since the early days that the precedent is life is relatively cheap. I guess that's a rather cynical view on it all, but... <clears throat> I can think that uh, this arc is going to be one to get used to. And, you know, as journeys go, and tests, I guess, if Gone and Giroa can come out of this for the best, then might be in line to be up there with meeting his father. I guess, well, if you've enjoyed this episode, let me know. There's still quite a lot that I need to take in. Still more that I want to see. So, leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. Maybe, if you've really got nothing else better to do, Join onto my Discord and talk about what you've uh, encountered. What do you think of the anime so far? But for now, get yourselves a bit of rest. I may stay in for a while, make sure there's no reports of any creatures suffering horrendous mutations and snatching people off of the street. But with that thought, try and get some rest, and I'll see you in the next one.